Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as promised, I did say I'm going to be doing my British Tranchla Show pickups today. So in this bag here, I have plenty of goodies. So let's start taking the items out and show you what I've got. So guys, first up is two bags of Spagnamos. This only cost me £1 each. This is fantastic stuff for holding humidity inside the enclosure. So next up is my Pinkfoot Goliath Bird Eater, Theraphosa Apophysis. So I got this off Martin Lees. Um, like I said, £5 deposit and £65 cash. So £70 in total. So let's take the lid off and uh, let's take a quick look. So everyone, let's just take the lid off. Turn the enclosure around. Obviously, I will rehouse this into a bigger enclosure. And there is he or she. I am not too sure if it's a male or female, but I'm not 100% fussed. I would like a male to breed with my adult female, but if it's a female, then it's a bonus. But uh, the bald spot on the abdomen's looking a little bit dark. So it looks like it's uh, probably due a mall very soon in the next couple of months or so. But so yeah, I'll rehouse this beautiful apophysis tomorrow so please stay tuned for tomorrow's video in uh, rehousing my new purchases and uh, let's go on to the next one so guys what can i say i have the most amazing friends and amazing subscribers ever my good friend nicola price has kindly gave me some of her tranchlers she noticed last week that my a Jenny Colata, adult female, sadly passed away. So she said I could have a few of hers. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Nicola for giving me these tranchlers. So let's have a look inside the box and uh, let's see what we've got. So guys, the first amazing gift from Nicola is a female A Jenny Colata. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, guys, when she told me she had two of these. And she said I could have one. And um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. She's around the three and a half, nearly four inch in leg span. So she'll go inside the enclosure that my mature male um, Aja Nicolata was in. It's a perfect enclosure for her because she's only small. So yeah, that's the first uh, amazing purchase from Nicola. Uh, let's go on to the second one. So guys, next up is my... Venezuelan Sun Tiger, the Sapopia Simernia, absolutely beautiful. Around the two inch in leg span, so not very big. So if this one turns out to be a male, I'm going to uh, breed it with my adult female. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is a Davos Pentaloris, the Costa Rican Tiger Rump. Uh, not very big, around the inch, nearly inch and a half, so it's got... Uh, Plenty of growing to do. So this is a burrowing species. So lucky enough, I've just taken the lid off and uh, there it is. So absolutely fantastic species. I haven't had one of these for a while. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, same again. Next up is another Sapopia Simernia. Oh my God. Venezuelan Sun Tiger. This one looks a little bit smaller than the first one. So this one looks around the inch and a half mark. So it's got absolute plenty of growing to do. So same again, if it's a male, I'll breed it with my female. And if it's a female, then it's a bonus. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is a little bit of a mystery. Uh, Nicola said that she can't remember what this species is. Um, personally, I think it could be a Kilobrachis species Hiwani which is the Asian Fawn Tranchula. I've had one of these before. But that is just a rough guess. Don't hold me to that, guys. But uh, we'll know more when it gets a little bit bigger. It's not very big. It's around the 2 centimetre, 2.5 centimetre. But uh, it doesn't look like it needs a feed for a while. It's got a nice large abdomen. So let's go on to the next one. So, guys, next up in this tub here, oh, my God, we have three Embalfori slings. Around about the inch, inch and a half mark. And you can just see one there, just on the right hand side. So let's uh, take a closer look. 
And there we go, guys. Absolutely beautiful. How can I have all these free tarantulas? It's just fantastic. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, this just keeps getting better and better. Oh my God. In here, guys, I have a Gramasola Pulchra, the Brazilian Black, for free. What can I say? Thank you so much, Nicola. You're an absolute diamond. Uh, not very big, um, around the inch, inch and a half. So as you know, people, these are a very, very slow growing species. So I have a three inch female and it's taken probably three or four years to get to that size. So this has got plenty of growing to do. So if this one's a male, I will breed it with my female. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, last but not least from Nicola's amazing mystery purchases is a box full of dubia roaches these are all males you can tell they're males because males have wings and females don't and there's a fair few in there so what i'll do is guys i'll put these in an empty tub where i used to keep my red runner roaches so let's go on to the next one so guys next up is some more live food we have some more Dubia roaches. I got speaking to a gentleman called Graham. He had a table at the BTS and he says to me, Alan, pick two boxes of roaches for free. I'm like, oh my God, more free items. I can't believe it. So yeah, I've got a couple of boxes of Dubia roaches there. So I'll put these with the males that I got off Nicola. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up, I do apologise. That is the best footage I'm going to get of this sling. If you watched my video yesterday of the British Tarantula Show, I did mention that I was swapping my mature male P. rufalata for two slings. But the first sling, I gave that to my friend who picked me up in the car and dropped me home as a thank you. And I kept the second sling. So I can't remember the scientific name, so I'll put it in the uh, video now. And there we go, guys. It's the orange toy fringe tarantula i've had one of these before and they do grow fairly big around the four to five inch in leg span if it's a female so it's got plenty of growing to do so like i said earlier i will be rehousing all these new purchases tomorrow so let's go on to the next one so guys next up as you can see i have bought two p mirandas these cost me 10 pound each and they're fairly big they're around the two and a half centimetre in leg span. I used to have an adult female, but unfortunately I sold her many years ago. I've regretted it ever since. So while we're here, guys, let's uh, take one of the lids off and uh, let's take a closer look. And there we go, guys. Oh my God, look at them colours. When they actually get bigger, they have like a purple sheen. Absolutely beautiful pokey. That's what we call them in the hobby for short. So yeah, absolutely stunning. Can't wait to rehouse these into bigger enclosures. And uh, let's go on to the next one. So guys, I have saved the best spider until last. In here, I have a purse web spider, which is a mygalomorph. And I'm not too sure how big it is. It's supposed to be a 1.5 centimetre to 3 centimetre in leg span. But I haven't actually opened the lid yet. So just for reference, I'm going to show you an adult female. And there we go, guys. And you can tell why I say this one until last. Them fangs look absolutely unbelievable. So let's just take the lid off and um, take a look at this purse web spider. So I'm just going to use my tongs just to take the tissue out. I'm just hoping and praying that it's, um, that it's okay. So guys, it looks like it's inside this web here. I got this from Martin French. He owns Bugs UK, fantastic website. Please check it out. He told me how to keep this spider. So I'm going to watch I don't uh, harm it in any way. But uh, hopefully it uh, should be okay. Yep, there it is. Yep, 
Oh, it's fairly big. Oh, my God. It's, yeah, it's definitely alive. Thank God for that. And there it is. It's my first ever Morganomorph spider. Yeah, it's fairly big. It's got a huge abdomen, so... Doesn't look like it needs a feed. So let's take a closer look. And there we go, guys. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that abdomen. It's definitely due a month, guys, because if you look at the abdomen, it's very, very dark in colour, which is a massive indication. So this is going to be rehoused straight away. And that's why it probably uh, blocked itself off in that webbing. So, yeah, definitely going to rehouse this one straight away. And if it decides to turn around, we can uh, have a look at them nice large fangs. Unusual little um, Morgellomorph. Yeah, you can see them fangs at the front there. Oh my God, they're huge. So I'm not too sure how big these actually get. But only time will tell. Absolutely beautiful. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to show you the fangs. Absolutely huge. Absolutely fantastic. So that is the last purchase of my live inverts. And uh, let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up we have some cocoa fibre. They usually get this for £1 per block, but at this year's British Transfer Show they didn't have any. So that's still a cheap price. Three uh, blocks for £4. And if I just move my camera down to the bottom there, you will see I have two small tweezers. I'll use these for sexy malts. These cost me £3 each. I've been after these for a while. They are a little bit difficult to get. So while we're here, guys, let's go on to my last and final purchase. So, guys, my final purchases from this year's British Tarantula Show. And as you can see, I have a glass enclosure there. And this is going to be for my species Hattie Hattie because it's in acrylic enclosure and that one's looking a little bit decrepit and it's um, broke at the side. And next up I have a new cup or mug, whatever you want to call it. That's an Imira female. £5 for the mug. I haven't bought one for a while. And £20 for the glass enclosure. So I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching, everyone.